Hi there, this is Travis and I'm here to show you all of the new features on your product pages. Uh, these changes are live and can be used on both new and existing products. Real quick though, I wanted to uh, point out that we're launching a weekly newsletter. Uh, tips and tricks to build your audience and sell smarter. There's going to be insights from top sellers. We've got lots of great data-driven content, case studies, and all sorts of cool stuff on the way. So uh, please subscribe here or uh, there are also links on our blog. So anyway, back to the product page. I'm just going to walk through the process here so everything is super clear. I'm logged into my account and clicking on add a product. Product. Uh, let's see. Just Price. Adding my files faster than I thought it was going to be. I'm uploading a cover. Okay, got my cover. Can't seem to type today. Okay, so we got all that, and of course now I can uh, upload more files if this particular project uh, had more than one file. This is also a pretty new feature. We have a recent blog post about all that, so uh, it's great for multiple videos if you want them to all be streamable. Uh, there's lots of other great reasons to use multi-file uploads uh, rather than a zip, but uh, that doesn't apply to this imaginary yet compelling product, so let's move on. So over here we've got uh, my products link, and I'm going to open that in a new tab. All right, now here's all of the new exciting stuff. So you click on your uh, settings little cogwheel here, and uh, the first thing you're going to see is um, I want this, which you can also change to buy this, pay, or donate. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that. Uh, I want this. Um, now you'll see that uh, you'll get a PDF is here, and it is grayed out, which means uh, you can change that. Of course, you'll get a PDF as the default because I uploaded a PDF. Um, if you uploaded multiple files or a zip file or otherwise want to change or clarify that, uh, go for it. Below that you'll see size and length of my file. If I wanted to uh, get rid of those, I can do that now by clicking those X's. And uh, below that is a box for an attribute. If you have a physical good, you can put the weight. So I can put um, three LBs. And that is going to appear under size and length, uh, of course, unless you've had those removed. Um, there. Uh, now I'm going to uh, click on the uh, payment form. Optimize for conversion is uh, the default. That means that if someone is looking at this product on a desktop, it will ask for their name. If they're on a mobile device, it won't ask for their name. Other options are to never show or always show. If you require shipping information, you uh, check this box here. And you'll notice this is pretty cool. Um, if you've asked for their name and shipping information, we're not going to ask for it twice. It's a little, little tiny detail, but it's pretty important. If you want uh, to require another piece of information, um, type what you want to gather and click on required or not if you want it to be optional. Say, for example, you've got a, um, a t-shirt size that you need, so I'll just type in shirt size. And you can see now that it's grayed out for optional. If I click on Required, that will be required and you can see that once I have added uh, one of these placeholders there is a, an, an added space if I if I need something else so once I've made all of these changes uh, I want to click update and I have saved, just save my changes uh, of course now if you want to uh, change the uh, highlight color this is going to be back in product preview um, I can do that if I wanted it to you know better match my product. Of course, these changes will be made for my uh, entire uh, profile page. So all of my products will have will now have this highlight color and background. So keep that in mind. So I have to update that as well. Now, uh, last thing, if you want to create offer codes or variants, uh, these are done in the options page. Um, let's see here, offers variants. But for all of the buyer facing stuff, it's all right there on the product page. So when you're done. Publish your product and get to selling. And that's it. If you have any feedback or questions, we'd love to hear from you. So uh, shoot us an email, support at gumroad.com, tweet at us, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy these new features.